guys and welcome back to another video on the Robo the YouTube channel. Today we're hopping in, we're gonna build another mine race simulator map. The guy who owns this game, Papa B, the B family, whoever, whoever, however, whatever. Guys, he saw my video on the Doodle World and he said, bro, please make one of those maps in mine race. So here we go. We're gonna make a Doodle World mine race simulator map and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty dope. Now I did start this the other day on the stream and we made the entire outline and layout of the map but i had to wait for the artist sib to uh you know make a few more things like some trees maybe some hills some tools all that good stuff and uh he's done with it so we're gonna be going through them all let's see we have this so far this is the current asset pack let's go ahead and move that to the side and then let's bring in some of the new stuff i'm gonna have to go over all of this by the way which i'm not exactly looking forward to but I also am uh first off we have this guy and this is just some nature assets which is pretty cool and then secondly we have this guy which is all of the tools all the crates the chests everything and that's gonna take a while too because I have to do these literally vertices at a time but uh I think I think that's it once I trace these anyways but until then it's gonna be a painstaking process so I'm gonna get these traced textured etc get them into Roblox studio and boom then we'll be able to finish up this map all right guys so i just finished all of the nature assets being the trees the grass the butterflies the bushes and stuff like that and that is going to help the map come along a lot and then after that we have some tools over here that i need to trace out and once i do those uh it's literally just putting it in studio and finishing this up i'm sure he's gonna love it he loves what we have so far and this this is just gonna make it look so much better all right guys we have officially made every single drawing into an asset so now we need to add a solidify modifier to every single thing then take it into studio and then it should be rather fast to finish up this map all right fellas and fellets it is the next day but we have everything in now right here is all of our nature assets and i think the ponds will actually be super sick just to uh, break up all of the greenery on the map and i also think this cannot actually be blue because that'll be the color of the ponds maybe we'll do like an orange that might be kind of fun and then let's change the text to an orange as well maybe about right there perfect now what we're gonna do is set up these crates first because that is indeed what you'll be getting the tools out of let's bring these over here and uh, i'm gonna have to make them the right size so to do that, I'm just going to scale up all of them until the four of them fit pretty nicely on the pad, which it looks like is about right here. There we go. Let's bring these up a little bit so they're kind of floating. And then let's grab these four and line them up with these and drag them to the orange pad. Not bad. We now have crates guys that that is nice let's go ahead and add a pond we're gonna grab this bigger one and we're gonna add this in this back corner i think it would look good we'll put it like this scale it up quite a bit oh yeah that actually is gonna look super sick we'll put it like this so it looks like it takes up that whole thing and then we're gonna drop it down some because it doesn't really need to be too much above the ground maybe a little bit more than that so we don't get any z fighting or texture glitching whatever we want to call it and i believe we have uh lily pads don't we Yes, we do. We're going to grab one of these as well. Get that on the pond just to break it up more. What is my camera doing? Whoa, there we go. And then we're going to put maybe like three of these kind of rotate them. That definitely looks pretty good to me. And we also have trees, tools, chests, literally everything we could need. We're going to do the chests up next because we already have a spot for them. They simply go right up here. And we're going to do the same thing by scaling these up so they take up the majority of this area. I'm thinking something like this. Uh, it is a bit of an oversized look, but uh, it's kind of nice. Drop this one down, drop this one down. And then we need to rotate these to about, I don't know, let's just do one, two, three, four clicks, just like that. So now we have our chests, we have our crates. And now I believe the rest is pretty much just decoration. We may add a little pedestal thing for the crates to be on. That might be an idea, uh, but I'll see if the uh, commissioner likes it like this or would like it change and also at the moment all of the sides are pretty much a copy and paste as you can see castle thing windmill thing castle thing windmill thing castle thing windmill thing and uh you know so on and so forth what we're gonna do is start adding some of these trees 
and all of this stuff that we have to just break it up and add a lot more variation. So to start things off, maybe we get rid of the castle right here. Maybe we get rid of the windmill over here and uh, kind of the same thing. Get rid of that castle and get rid of both the castle and the windmill on this one. And now we'll replace all of that with our other assets and it'll look so much more, like, just diverse, I guess. Let's start out with this tree, get it placed all around, see what we like. It definitely needs to be quite a bit bigger. So I'm actually gonna control Z and just make this whole pack bigger. So everything is, uh, sort of sized correct. I think I want a nice pine tree right down here. Let's drag that up. I also want one down here on the ground. I think it just, uh, adds a nice, nice touch. I want this real big tree where the, uh, the windmill used to be. I think that'd be pretty cool. Let's drag that up. All right, let's drag this probably like right here i think that looks pretty cool i love the 2d aesthetic man if you guys have any ideas you want me to do with like this doodle pack i mean obviously we have a ton of assets here excluding the tools these are not reusable but everything else nature assets i'm pretty sure we'd be fine with let's get some of these bushes placed all around the map it just adds such a good like vibe man maybe one over here just like that oh yeah this is looking good now we just need to add more trees all around i'm gonna do that real quick spice up the borders with these trees maybe find another spot for another pond uh, some bushes, some grass, all that good stuff. And then we'll see how it's looking. And boom, just like that, the world is done, guys. We've added some flowers, some trees, bushes, just more stuff that aligns with, like, nature, like grass, more flowers, all that kind of stuff. And then we've changed up all the sides so they all look just a little bit different. We have our two chests right here, which are uh, pretty massive, I must say, but I think they do fit well. And then over here, we've got all of the crates where you'll be able to get your tools and all of the tools are actually uh somewhere over not anchored yep all over the floor over here <laughs> Oh man, I do think this is my favorite map that we've made for this game. Uh, it's it's just beautiful in my opinion. I really like this style and uh, it wouldn't have been at all possible without your boy Sib. So Sib, thanks man. Anyways guys, I do think that will wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.